Here we've got a question on problems involving money. Um, obviously this is a calculator question, so it's not a very high level FG, um, GCSE level 3, 4 Nash curriculum. So Lisa wants to buy a pizza and a coffee, so a pizza and a coffee, so we need to add those two things together. Now the only key thing here is it's got to be in pounds, the answer. So we've got to be careful with this 80 pence. So we're adding 2.35 pounds plus 80 pence. 80 pence is 0 0.80 pounds or 0 0.8. Um, we can use the calculator, might as well since we're allowed to. So 2.35 plus 0 0.8. You can put the zero in if you want, it helps you, but don't need to. Now on these calculators, quite often they default to fractions. So you must remember to press the, well, it helps if you press the SD button and that will change it into a decimal. So £3.15. You might have been able to do that calculation without the calculator. Okay, Deborah buys two burgers and two teas. So two burgers, so we've got two lots of £1.70, which is £3.40. Again, we could do that on the calculator. And two teas, teas are 65 pence. We've got two times 65 pence, which is one pound, 130 pence or £1.30. Um, add all that up. You can add that without the calculator, so £4.70. Or you can do the whole thing in one calculation on the calculator. So one times one pound seventy plus sorry two times one pound seventy plus two times zero point six five. The only important thing is you must have it in pounds if you're doing a calculation where you're mixing it together, and that gives you a fraction which we don't want, which is four point seven. And be careful to get the the um, pounds. We need to put a zero on the end to make it four pound seventy. So do be careful with that. Um, there are, oh, still got a bit to go. Let's just do this last bit. Michelle has £10. She wants to buy as many sandwiches as possible. Work out how many sandwiches she can buy. So sandwiches are £1.30. So we need to do 10 divided by £1.30. Or alternatively, you could be adding up £1.30, £2.60, £3.90. You just keep going up until you get to 10 if you're not too keen on, the, on division. So 10 divided by 1.30 or £1.30 gives us. 7.69 so she can buy seven sandwiches can't buy 7.69 of a sandwich so um, it's between seven and eight but the most you can buy is seven sandwiches for two marks if you've got that division written down but make a mess of this answer you will get one mark for the, for the method or if you if you write a list of numbers here again that's a method mark that's showing you how it's that's showing you know what to do you just might mess up the answer Going back through this, um, if you have the calculations written down but you mess up the answer again, say you write 4.7, um, although technically it says you're allowed to have 4.7, um, which is unusual, and usually a money calculation, if you don't put the zero on, you can't have the answer mark. It must be going soft in their old age. Um, but yeah, so that it's important when it's two marks that you write down the calculations. There's lots of marks available on an exam for writing down your calculations. Anyway...